Today, we say our final goodbye to our foundress and friend, Mother Mary Angelica. She was laid to rest in a mass of Christian burial just hours ago. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Lauren Ashburn. It's been a week of a long tribute to Mother. On EWTN, Catherine Zeltner takes us to the ceremony in Alabama, where Mother Angelica was laid to rest. In the same shrine she built, Mother Angelica is laid to rest. From Pope Francis's U.S. representative to familiar EWTN faces, Mourners gathered in Hansville, Alabama's Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Philadelphia's Archbishop Charles Shapu celebrated today's Mass. We humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, for your servant, Mother Mary Angelica. The homilist is a priest who knew Mother well and how she never followed the expected path. But God was always full of surprises when it came to Mother Angelica. One of those surprises was the timing of her death. All the planned solemn prayers for Mother's last rites had to be scrapped because she died on Easter Sunday, a day of celebration. Father Joseph Mary Wolf pointed to Mother's tough love, what's been dubbed her yelling theology. Sort of like throwing cold water at someone to get them to wake up. And how no one was immune from it, including a top executive she debated on CNN's Larry King Live. At one point she said, Look, sweetheart. <clears throat> and if you ever heard those words, you knew you were in trouble. <laughs> but the focus of the homily and mass stayed on Christ. You cannot understand Mother Angelica without reference to the one that she loved with the passion of a bride, Jesus. The mass was invitation only. Public mourners crowded the shrine's piazza to watch outside and countless others viewed the ceremony on TV or online. In the octave of Easter, today's burial mass was an alleluia for Mother Angelica's life. May she rest in peace. The mass concluded with a procession of Mother's body through the shrine's piazza and into the crypt where she was laid to rest. Also buried in the crypt is Mother Angelica's own mother, Mae Francis, who joined the religious order later in life. Lauren. Catherine, that's not an April Fool's joke. Her mother became a nun? Yes, the same woman who protested her daughter becoming a cloister nun joined her in the convent. So in a way, Mother Angelica became a mother to, to her, her mother. To her own mother, <laughs> right. exactly. All right, Catherine, thank you so much for that beautiful tribute.